Hey guys, it's Heidi. Welcome back. In today's video, I wanted to share with you this red lip and minimal eye makeup look that I feel is going to be suitable for so many different situations, especially in those situations where you're really not doing something very fancy, but you still miss your red lip and you want to find a way to rock them without looking like you're overdoing it or like you have too much makeup for the occasion. This has to be one of my favorite makeup looks, plus it is really easy to do. So I really hope you guys enjoy watching this tip. Let's get started. All right, so I'm going to start by prepping my face and for this I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Quick Fix. Now for foundation today, I'm going to be applying the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This is an amazing foundation. I don't wear it all the time just because it is so expensive, but it just works wonderfully. And of course, my Dampened Beauty Blender Pro. So I'm just gonna start in the center. I don't know if you guys noticed that the foundation shade, which by the way, I have not mentioned, is the 4.5. Five. You may notice it is a little bit yellow and I typically go for either beige or ivory foundations with a little bit of a yellow undertone just because I have so, so much redness to cancel out. Now I'm going to create a truly minimal eye makeup and for that I'm going to be using this Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. And to begin I'm going to go in with this shade right here that's called Toasty. You could even do this with your bronzer if you'd like to. I'm going to go into the socket and kind of blend it into the crease, gently pushing it next to my nose near the tear duct and the inner corner. Oh, and for this, I am using my Morphe M513 fluffy brush. Now I'm going to use these other kind of angled Morphe brush. This is the E47, and I'm going to use the exact same shade in the Sigma palette that's called Toasty, and I'm just gonna take it down the lower lash line. This brush is just perfect for this. It's just super fast. And also I feel like I don't have to over brush the area, if that makes sense. And I'm not giving myself wrinkles. And now I'm going to go in with a hint of this shade right here. That's also a brown, but it is a little bit darker and it's called After Hours. And this is going straight to the outer corner of my crease. Just a hint to intensify and kind of give a little bit more depth. And for this, I am using my Morphe E18 brush. Now to blend, I'm going to switch back to the M513 fluffy brush that I used at the beginning with the previous shade with a toasty. I'm going in and this is gonna help me blend not only because of the shape of this brush, which is fluffy brush and really helps blend out everything but also because there is a bit of a residue of that toasty shade and that is going to really help me blend things out seamlessly. Now time to conceal the under eye area and for this I'm going to be using my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer in the shade Medium. I'm gonna fill in my brows and for this I'm going to be using these Sormi Cosmetics um, brow powder in 56 soft blonde and I'm going to be using the middle powder right here which is the lighter shade and as you guys can see I'm just filling in mostly the tail of my brow which is where I have less hairs and now I'm gonna go in a little bit here where there's some bold spots but then this area is where I'm doing better so I'm just gonna leave them looking like that kind of natural now I'm going to go in with the Lancome 
Soul Seal Styler and this type of product does two things. It kind of makes your brows look fuller and it also fixes them into place. And I realize these type of bushy eyebrow look is definitely not for everybody, but I do like how it makes my brows look. So that's all for my brows. And now on to kind of sculpting and bronzing and all those things. So I'm going to be using my uh, Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade here that's called Sombre. Oh, and I'm using my Morphe M437 brush for this. Of course, I'm going kind of into the natural hollows of my cheekbones to accentuate my features. And from there, I kind of blend it in upwards. Now a little bit on the tip of my nose and on the sides of the bridge of my nose as well. Now to bronze a little bit and warm up my complexion. I'm going to go in with this shade right here that's called Shadow Play and this Morphe bronzer brush that's the E41. And now for blush I'm going to go in with this Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush. This is in the shade Party and I'm going to be using these Sigma brush. This is the F15. Now for highlight, I definitely don't want to go into any sorts of extremes. I want this to be a very natural look and let the lips be the star of the show. So I'm going in with these Hourglass Ambient Powders, which give you a very nice, subtle, natural highlight. And I'm going in with this one over here. Do you see how it's there? but it's not there. I also like to highlight the tip. And now before going into the lips, I'm going to set my complexion using the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. I used a bunch of powders today and this setting spray really helps kind of melt everything into the skin. This stuff is so great. I mean, even with powders that are typically a little bit harder to blend on dry skin, for me, that's a case of the Shade and Light palette. I mean, I value a lot of things about the palette, but on my very, very dry skin, sometimes it is a little bit patchy. Um, and I can still use it and, you know, really try to blend it in with the right brush and everything. But at the end of the day, it looks great once I apply the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. In case you guys are wondering, I am not going to be adding any mascara to the eyes. That's kind of part of the minimal eye look that I'm going for. Now that said, of course I do have lash extensions, but honestly most of them have already fallen off. So that's why I thought it was the perfect time to do this look today. And honestly, if you can absolutely not live without some kind of, of mascara, you can definitely go for like the Makeup Forever Smoky or something that's very, very natural and just will just give a bit of a dark color to your natural lashes, but not necessarily add any volume or length. All right, so for my lips, I'm going to be first lining them using the Rimmel London Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in 024 Red Diva. And when it comes to red lipstick, which is, you know, really intense color, I feel like it is, especially important to really go in with the lip liner first so that you kind of determine the shape you're going for on your lips um, better and that will make the lipstick application so much easier. And now I'm going to go in with this Marc Jacobs Le Marc Le Creme lipstick. This is an, actually a mini lipstick and I love this shade and as soon as I run out of this lipstick I will be repurchasing it in the full size because Marc Jacobs lipsticks just have an amazing super creamy lightweight ah, delicious formulation and this is in the shade 240 that's called So Rouge. So Rouge or So Rouge? I don't know. 
You most certainly do not need to use the exact lipstick that I'm using. Any red lipstick that you already own and that you love will do for this look. So that's it for today guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for new videos that will be coming up really soon. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to y'all again on my next one.